I'm not going to allow it. Yeah, to talk so to just walk away from it. I'll deal with it. I'm going to order all the pizza. Okay, guys, so what you just heard was the current the crying rant of a another white person who is losing their um, cushion and comfortability um, that they had on the backs of blacks for so long on the backs of Yas people. And um, I'm loving it here. You know, South Africa is doing some great things and I'm here for it because um, this is what happens when you have Israelites in charge in place of in places of authority and also um, other people who are in place of authority who um, respect Yas people. Um, you have things like this that are able to get done. And what I mean by getting things getting done is um, this right here. So the woman you were just listening to go off like a screaming, bantering banshee is this woman here. She is a white South African woman or a white woman in South Africa. And she was, you know, recorded going off like that up to black people, um, police officers in South Africa back in November of last year, 2017. She just recently got jailed for three years. I just learned about this through a subscriber of mine that left a comment on uh, one of my videos from earlier today that I just happened to see tonight. And so I said, I'll look it up. Now, I just jumped ahead through the um, the video. It's four and a half, almost five minutes long. And she's just going off screaming and saying stupid names and stuff like that throughout the whole video. But I wanted to jump ahead and show some parts that um, I thought was necessary for you all to see in my video. And I will leave the link down below if you want to um, watch it all, if you want to watch it all. <laughs> so the woman there, this is her name, Vicky Momberg. She was found guilty. In November on four counts, four counts of criminal injuria or the willful injuring, willful injuring of someone's dignity. Um, it says it's the first time a South African has received prison time for these offense. They said they've had these types of cases before, but they've always been coupled with other charges. This is the first for a prison sentence for criminal injuria on its own. Um, and then they say here, this person here says, the court's punishment set a precedent for future cases. We are pleased with the sentence, as I am too. This sends a clear message to those who undermine other people's rights. Um, and mind you, she was speaking to a police officer like that. Now, had that been in America and a black person was speaking to a white police officer like that, child, they'd be dead now. But I'm just being real. They would probably be shot dead, arrested, hung up on a tree. Who knows? Um, it also says here that she's former real estate agent. She was caught berating a South African police officer after thieves tried to break in her car. Um, she repeatedly used a highly offensive slur that was commonly used to insult and demean black people during the apartheid. The word that she was using was this term here. Um, I don't want to say it because I 
don't want to let some filthy communication like that come out of my mouth, but it's very similar to the, the word, um, the N word here in America, or in this case, Negro, which I personally might offended by saying Negro. Um, I don't want no white person calling me a Negro. But in the context that I use it, saying that Negroes are the Israelites, I am not offended in that regard when other Israelites are speaking to me or about that. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm only using it for um, educational purposes, you know, understanding purposes so that people are not confused as to who the Israelites are. Um, then it also says that kafir is an ethnic slur used to refer to a black person in the form of it evolved during the pre-colonial period as an equivalent of Negro in South Africa. The term was later used as an exonym for Bantu peoples, other words, AKA Israelites. Um, and I'm moving kind of fast because I want to get on to another part um, that I want to mention too. But it goes on to say here that they were, they believe that this is strong sentence would deter would be hate crime perpetrators in society. They also found it defeating and disappointing that they are dealing with this case in the nature, in the year of this nature, in a year where they celebrate the year of Nelson Roli Shoshla Mandela. Um, the prison sentence brings a clear warning that race-based abuse for which Momberg was found guilty will not be tolerated, the Nelson Mandela Foundation said. It's not enough to act against incidents of racism and underlying privileges that cause racism in post-apartheid South Africa must be addressed. Her sentence is significant for its severity, not the act itself. Um, it says in 2016, a real estate agent, Penny Sparrow, was ordered to pay around $10,000 to charity or $10,000, uh, 10,000 uh, South African dollars to charity after she was convinced, convicted of hate speech for a Facebook post in which she referred to blacks as monkeys. So again, I feel like this is what happens when you have Israelites in powers and places of authority in power and those people also who respect the house people in power and places of authority. Because had that been in America, like I said, it wouldn't go on and on like that. They may have for one, they made for the most part, they would have just probably taken down their Facebook posts or suspended them with paid leave for a week or two. But there would not have been any reprimanded action taken at this severity level um, had that been in America. And that's simply because we don't have our people in places of authority and power that would be able to issue this type of reprimand. And so white people feel like they can get away with it and they just go ahead on and say, get over it. You're overreacting. You cry about everything, everybody, you know, your crybabies and whatnot, the typical thing, because that's just their way of, you know, kind of waving off and saying, hey, you know what? I have the privilege you don't. But I love how things are turning. And like I said, I'm here for it. And I just think, you know, how far, how much more time before this ripple effect begins to spread from South Africa throughout the rest of the places where you have people are scattered. Um, but I don't feel sorry for this woman at all. I mean, I don't care. I don't know how her sentence is going to be served out in a South African jail beside other Black people. Um, but I don't care. The next thing that I want to get to is this here because this brought my attention to this um now this is a boy young boy Devonte hart i just learned about this myself today um and he was famous for um some photograph that was taken during the time of the michael brown protests and back in um missouri in 2014 and to sum it all up i will leave a link for this down below as well if you guys haven't heard about it though you can go ahead on and read this yourself um all these ads. This young boy here was the one that was in the photograph. He was adopted along with these other children here by these two white lesbian people, women. Um, and they are, um, well, they were found, their, these women's minivan was found plunged over a cliff down in the ocean somewhere in California with their dead bodies along with um, three of the other children. I think it was this guy, this guy, and then this girl was in the van dead with these two white women. And then the police authorities are looking for this young man and then this girl and this little girl. They don't know where they are. Um, it's probably, it's likely that they could be dead, but we don't know at this point. But um, I just wanted to show that they were saying that um, these people were, these children were adopted by these kids, I mean, by these white people, and they were abused, they were starved and hungered. Um, 
And then all kinds of tragedies have gone forth and now possibly even dead and others have been murdered at the hands of these crazy white women. Um, but it just goes to show again that we have got to stop befriending our enemies. We've got to stop letting our kids as much as possible be raised with these enemies. Um, and my time is running short, but I wanted to point that out and I'll leave the links down below um, so you all can read it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Shalom.